Hey, it's Ben here, and here in this video, we're going to have a quick look at how we can repair audio that isn't perfectly recorded. So we've got a short piece of audio here that I recorded on my MacBook Pro with the built-in mic, with the doors open and things like that, so the, the recording isn't perfect. So we'll just play that back here. Hey, it's Ben here. So here I just wanted to test how well the AI can remove or create this kind of studio quality sound using the mic on my MacBook Pro, doors open, a little bit of noise in the background, and I'm not speaking directly or to kind of super close to the microphone. So I just wanted to check this out and see how well it does. So we can hear some laughing in the background, we can hear lots of kind of background noise within that audio, and we're gonna first of all fix this within Final Cut Pro. So I'm just gonna hold down Option and move this clip along the timeline, and we will add some repair in Final Cut Pro. So I'm just gonna increase the height of my timeline and zoom in a little bit. And essentially, we will go up to the inspector. If you don't see the inspector, go to Window, Show in Workspace, and make sure the inspector is checked. And then we can come up here, we can do voice isolation, and then we can also do noise removal as well. So I'll just play this through a little bit. It's Ben here. So here I just wanted to test how well the AI can remove or create this kind of studio quality sound using the mic on my MacBook Pro. So Final Cut Pro is doing a pretty good job there of removing the background noise and removing some of the sound in the background. I have found that sometimes Final Cut Pro with certain microphones can make the sound a little bit tinny if you've got too much noise in the background or if you don't have a very good mic that you're recording with. So I'm going to come into the script here and we're going to create a new project. So we'll click new project here. We're going to do an audio project only and we're going to add a file. We'll upload this recording. So this is recorded on the built-in microphone in my MacBook Pro. We're not going to assign a speaker name or anything like that. We're just going to click done here let Descript transcribe the audio. So Descript will also transcribe the audio as well, and you can edit in here by editing the text. So rather than editing video or audio, you can actually go through the transcript and edit as if you were editing in a text editor, but right in the browser. So here we have the original sound. We play this back. Hey, it's Ben here. So here I just wanted to test how well the AI can remove. And we still have the original audio here. So if we click ahead in time, it's kind of super close to the microphone. So I just wanted to check this out and see how well it does. And so essentially you can still hear the doors closing, laughing in the background and stuff like that. We are gonna come up to the layers here and then we're gonna select this studio sound and ducking. And this is gonna do the AI analysis of that audio and repair it. And then we'll play these three sets of audio back to back so you can hear the difference. I'm not doing anything with these tools apart from using them out of the box. I'm not making any changes to the settings or anything like that, just so we can see how well this works without making any changes. And then if we come up to publish on the top right, we're gonna click export rather than publish. And we are gonna export out a lossless WAV. We'll include any metadata that is there. And we're not gonna change any advanced settings. We'll just click export and that will download this web to our downloads folder and we can copy this file. We'll copy it across to our project folder here and then I'm gonna pull that into Final Cut Pro. So we'll jump back into Final Cut Pro and then just drag this web across. And the web is the first file that we have here. Um, I can't tell from the names, but I can tell from the fact that there's no noise at the beginning. So it's been cleaned up. So if we zoom in here, you can see the difference between the Descript edited audio and the original audio where there's this kind of noise at the beginning. So this is a nice clean audio that we've got from Descript. So we'll pop this on the timeline and you can see the difference in each of the waveforms here. So let's play this through. Hey, it's Ben here. So here I just wanted to test how well the AI can remove or create this kind of studio quality sound. And so AI in Descript has changed the levels. It's removed all the noise and then this sound is sounding really good. So I'm gonna play these all through, but actually what we'll do is we'll move the AI recording to the beginning and we'll just trim this down so they all sit nice on the timeline. So we have our AI recording fixed with the script, our original, and then back to our Final Cut Pro recordings. Have a listen and do let me know your thoughts below. Hey, it's Ben here. So here I just wanted to test how well the AI can remove or create this kind of studio quality sound using the mic on my MacBook Pro, doors open, a little bit of noise in the background, and I'm not speaking directly or to kind of super close to the microphone. So I just wanted to check this out and see how well it does. Hey, it's Ben here. So here I just wanted to test how well the 
AI can remove or create this kind of studio quality sound using the mic on my MacBook Pro. Doors open, a little bit of noise in the background, and I'm not speaking directly or to kind of super close to the microphone. So I just wanted to check this out and see how well it does. Hey, it's Ben here. So here I just wanted to test how well the AI can remove or create this kind of studio quality sound using the mic on my MacBook Pro. Doors open, a little bit of noise in the background and I'm not speaking directly or to kind of super close to the microphone. So I just wanted to check this out and see how well it does. So I hope that's a good overview of the type of quality you can get from Descript or from Final Cut Pro when you're fixing this type of sound. One thing I will mention is that I did use this to repair some audio that was recorded on the Obspot mic that gave this really tinny sound. Hey, it's Ben here. And here in this video, I want to share a secret way that I use to create icons and graphics within Final Cut Pro. I got a couple of comments about it. And so I thought I would try Descript and see how well it worked. Hey, it's Ben here. And here in this video, I want to share a secret way that I use to create icons and graphics within Final Cut Pro. And it did a really good job of cleaning up that sound. So just to kind of further test of that, obviously getting that nice controlled recording location is going to help you a lot, but not everyone has a chance to, to do that. So being able to record in less than perfect situations and then clean things up afterwards is something where AI is really offering a great improvement to that kind of rough recorded quality audio. If you do have any questions about Final Cut Pro or Descript, then please do leave them in the comments below. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video.